All right, so how often does your store do inventory? So for the perishable sides of the store, um, so produce, bakery, meat, seafood, deli prepared foods, um, we do an inventory every single month um, at the end of the month. And then, of course. That's okay. Um, the rest of the store does inventory um, twice a year. Uh, what is the purpose of taking inventory? So our inventory, at least on the um, perishable side, is so we can get an accurate financial information um, at the end of the month and based on sales and shrink um, so we can see where our losses are and where our opportunities um, you know, land with sales. It's also a good way for us to tell um, where our gross profit is, so how much um, we're actually making um, and running a financially justified business. How do you use the information you get from inventory? Kind of just answered that. Yeah, it's kind of the same thing. So you're looking at, um, you know, the overall, um, you know, purchases, how much you're you're selling, how much you're shrinking, and we can kind of get a, a really accurate um, reading on, or at least as accurate as we can, on how um, financial or financially we're doing as a department. Um, but I think it's a good way then to also look at that gross profit and, and really be able to dig in and find out where our opportunities are to increase our sales. What do you do to prepare for inventory? I think the biggest thing coming from a parcel department was um, really, number one, letting our coolers and our inventory run down because um, we want to have the least on hand that we possibly can, still being able to service our customers, um, but the least amount of stuff in our coolers. Um, the less that we have to count, um, the less we have um, a, as far as a fluctuation in cost. Um, you know, if I buy something and it costs me $5, but at the time I'm inventorying, it's now up to an $8 cost, I've lost $3, but I haven't sold the product. So we would let our coolers run down as much as we possibly could. Um, and on top of that, uh, make sure that the person who is counting your inventory um, I like to have the same person counting every single month because everybody counts a little bit different. Um, so in order to get an accurate inventory, um, we would count or have the same person counting um, from month to month. Non-perishable inventories, so that's perishable. Right. Non-perishable is every six months, so you want to go back perishable and non-perishable mm -hmm. to make sure that you get all your credits that you did, you're supposed to get from any vendor. So let's say try it distributing, you get credits on beer or things like that, you want to make sure your credits are totally up to date before inventory is taken. That way you know that you're 100%. Bills are paid, credits are in, so it's more accurate. Otherwise, there could be a big swing on your inventory based on. And then also with grocery or general merchandise, the front end has reshops that come up front from customers that don't want to buy it. We make sure at a certain time we fill them all back to the shelves, and if not, we stop it so that it doesn't throw off when the companies are here counting. All right, this question kind of runs into that. It says, uh, is inventory done by employees, which kind of already answered, or by third-party companies? Both. So on the perishable side of the store that we do the month, every month inventory, it's done by our employees. On the non-perishable side of the store, it's done by both. Um, so we have a company, outside company, Regis, that'll come in and actually do the scanning of the shelves. Um, and then our employees will do all of the counting of um, anything in our back room. So it's a combination. So you said uh, you, you have uh, different employees count inventory. How accurate would you say the inventory is? It's, um, it's a good gauge, but there's a lot of factors when you're doing inventory um, that are still a little bit up in the air. Um, I think it gives on the month-to-month -month basis um, a good idea of where I'm going to end up financially. The six-month one, um, you know, going for every six months, I think it's a little bit more difficult um, because there's so much that can happen in that six months that right. you don't really know how your inventory is going to come out. You have to, there's probably, on the grocery side of the store, maybe a 3% sway of total department where you could say, you know, between stolen items or things that were missed on sh with the shrink gun that were sent back or so on and so forth there's got to be a like a one to three percent ratio of not as accurate with perishables it's close because you're 
pretty much running your shrink sell shrink time frame every day. Mm -hmm. So we know based on our computer of what we're purchasing and what we're selling and what we have on hand that where we're at. So it's pretty accurate. Yeah, you're getting bills every every um, load that comes in, so you can see how much you're buying. You can see how much you're selling, um, pretty almost like an instantly. Um, you know, the next day, so you can kind of judge where you are a little bit better. Uh, would you say like the shrink uh, is probably one of the biggest problems of the inventory? Of um, the inventory. I think the, the shrink part is, as far as the perishable side, um, you know, there's two factors for us on shrink. There is a known, um, which is, yeah, I can find out at, at any given time what my known shrink is. And then there's the unknown factor, and that's kind of what Jim was talking about with the one to three percent. Um, I don't know um, how much theft it, it, you know, unless I see somebody and I can accurately, you know, figure out how much. I don't know how much. Um, stuff might not be transferred or um, or that doesn't always get marked off that I didn't get it off my load. So there definitely is a um, a factor for shrink and that unknown category is kind of that up in the air part. How important would you say it is to take inventory? I think it's pretty um, it's pretty important from um, you know from a perishable background. Um, you know I don't know that I would want being a perishable manager to go to something like the the non-perishable side of the store where they only need it every six month, months, I think that that would lead uh, to probably a little bit more problems and inaccuracies um, and not knowing where you are financially. It gives you a gauge, too, of contribution of where your department mm -hmm. is contributing back to the business after you pay all your bills. And um, if you don't do inventory, that's the basis of everything you're doing between that and labor and, and packaging and such. But... Um, and I think you can make adjustments to the way you're running your business based on how that inventory comes in, um, you know, to make it more um, financially sound. Wegmans has had a lot of different SKUs and products. Does that doesn't that make it difficult to count to get every inventory's count? Um, I, I don't think it really does because um, the people that are inventorying um, their department are the experts that are in that department. So I know, you know, coming from um, being a meat manager, I knew where all my product was, um, and it was very easy for me to identify and then even identify um, if something was missed um, when we would get our inventory corrections down. Um, it was easy to identify what was missed based on me knowing what my cooler looked like. Um, so I don't think it was necessarily a, a hindrance to have so many SKUs. And the way they agree just counts grocery, it doesn't matter if it's a different skew or no matter what they just count up and down and left to right so. yeah so it's very methodical on what they're counting how does your inventory method work does the inventory count get updated instantly after a purchase so Jim can talk a little bit more about this so currently we used to on perishable departments when we take inventory on Sunday we get results base results back on Tuesday where we can make adjustments so they'll send us an email telling us where sh known and unknown shrink lie on Tuesday and that there could be an issue with the count. When we get that, we're able to go back to our department, look at all the inventory, look at what we have on hand and see if somebody made a typing error or some sort of error. So on perishables, it's like every two days. Uh, grocery, we have a six month inventory and then when we get that, it's usually at the end. So that's usually taken at the beginning of the month and we get the results usually a week before the end of the month and it's tough to make those adjustments. But we as Wegmans just changed our ordering practices to something called CAO, which is um, as soon as the customer purchases a bag of M&Ms, let's say, when they reach a certain threshold, they get reordered immediately. So with that happening, um, inventory has been able to be kept a lot better, and sooner or later we're hoping on getting rid of a company like Regis because we're able to know what we have on hand at all times. So we no longer, our night crew or grocery department no longer orders product, they inventory manage product. So they go up and down the aisles, and if they see a hole or something that has one item, they scan the item to see how many are supposed to be on hand. And when they're not there, they adjust that number to show what's on the shelf, and we get automatic replenishment of those items. So inventory-wise, hopefully in the future here, we will lose our third party and just focus on uh, automatic replenishment and the numbers that we have on hand. 
So how long would you say it takes start to finish to count the inventory? So that's going to vary um, greatly depending on what department you're doing. Right. Um, for a smaller department like, um, you know, Create a Cake or um, Seafood, they could maybe possibly count their inventory in two hours. Um, meat took two people, maybe around four. Um, Produces. Produce is probably 16 hours to inventory. So the larger the department, the larger the amount of time that you're going to have to spend inventorying. Grocery Regis usually gets here at 6. There's probably, There's 10, probably 10 people, 10 to 15 people. people, and it takes them a good probably 7 hours. Yeah. Um, so it depends on, on the size of the department, how long it takes. Does your store get graded on how accurate the inventory is? We get a number at the end of the month, and obviously, you know, of total shrink for the store and obviously we all want to drive the best results and uh, we have really high standards for shrink at Wegmans. A lot of our uh, competition is probably double what we run with shrink. So, you know, we focus on the lowest number possible. Have we ever gotten yelled at or anything? No. I mean, we're more about our own grade than the company's worried about.